This is going to be a study called Kendrick Lamar, the Antichrist Poser. Uh, Kendrick Lamar is one of the thousands of entertainers paving the way for the man of sin, which is the Antichrist, getting everybody's morals and their mind in shape to accept somebody unbelievably evil. Uh, 1 John 2.18 says, Little children, it is the last time. And as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. So there are many men who are in opposition against Jesus Christ. They are the opposite of Jesus Christ. They are an Antichrist. One that's against Christ. Not the Antichrist, but many Antichrists walk the earth right now and the the antichrist very well might walk the earth right now we have no way of knowing but many of these antichrists forerunners for the antichrist they even claim to be jesus christ or a god themselves but always remember in first timothy 2 5 it says for there is one god and one mediator between god and men the man christ jesus but I remember the day that I woke up, the day I believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. And this is the day that I found out I had been blinded from my child years into my very early 20s. And it's not an exciting feeling finding out that almost everything around you is a lie. Finding out everything the world has is something to make you feel more comfortable on your way to hell. That's what the devil wants to do, make you feel comfortable on your way to hell. And if you get your eyes open, you'll see that the music, movies, games, and entertainment world is centered around damning people to hell and wasting their time. But what the Lord wants to do is get you to open your eyes, realize you're a sinner, realize you can't save yourself, and the Lord died on the cross for your sins. Jesus Christ died on the cross. He shed his blood. He was buried and resurrected on the third day. And if you put your trust in him, then you can be saved. The rapper Kendrick Lamar has deceived people into thinking his music is Christian, leading people who might be trying to get on a right road. He's leading them down further down the wrong road. And if you look at what he's saying, it is very blasphemous against Jesus Christ. People think just because someone mentions the name Jesus, that they are a Christian. Christianity has gotten so shallow that people think Kanye West is a Christian because he had a song about Chick-fil-A. Um, I mean, just because he mentions Chick-fil-A and they're closed on Sunday and they claim to be Christian, they think, well, Kanye's a Christian because of songs that he has like that. And he very well may, may be a Christian, but his music is not Christian. It's not Christ-like at all. He's still doing songs with rappers like Travis Scott and still even performs some of his old songs. But there is a prophecy Jesus Christ spoke of himself about the future tribulation time period. And we certainly aren't in the tribulation yet. And the church doesn't go through the tribulation. However, you're already seeing things starting to go in the direction that Jesus Christ said it would. He said in Matthew 24, 5, For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And then in Matthew 24, 23 and 24, it says, Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Mark 13, 23, For false Christ's and false prophets shall rise and shall so show, show signs and wonders to seduce, if it were possible, even the elect. Do you know what Kendrick Lamar calls himself? He calls himself Black Jesus. And these verses just said, Jesus said in these verses, false Christ's. Kendrick Lamar calls himself Black Jesus calls himself the black Jesus Christ. He says in his lyrics, I am Christ. Now he's not the Antichrist, but he's an Antichrist, paving the way for the real man of sin to come. 
The Bible says the mystery of iniquity doth already work in 2 Thessalonians. That's talking about the Antichrist. The spirit of the Antichrist is already at work. And it's definitely at work in the music. But let's look at some of the lyrics from the satanic rapper Kendrick Lamar. He says in one song, Yes, sir, the young black Jesus walking on water and then black Yeezys. So he's uh, the characteristics of Jesus, he's saying he has them walking on water. He says five albums, five masterpieces. Can't leave rap alone. The game needs it. Can't leave Gats alone. I have a family. Blank that sold Grams nominated for a Grammy. I got to thank myself. I'm Jesus. Me and my apostles. So he's saying he's got apostles. Play the corner like Revis. Now I'm on Noah's Ark floating through St. Regis. So see how he's using biblical things and mixing them in with worldly sinful things. This is very blasphemous. He'd be better off to just say some straight up filthy things and leave Jesus and the Bible out of it. That's just how it is. It's wrong to mix Christian things, biblical things, things about the Lord Jesus Christ in with these filthy things. And then he says, you know how Jesus do. Referring to himself once again. So notice that he called himself Jesus Christ and then brags on himself. Did you know that Satanists teach that Satanism is about being your own God? And these rappers are nothing but men who want to be the greatest or the rap God, like that Eminem song refers to. 2 Timothy 3.2 explains how in the last days men shall be lovers of their own selves. And if you listen to Kendrick Lamar's music, it's a reflection of a, the mind of a person in the last days. He loves his self. Uh, he may claim to be depressed and all this type of stuff, but many times the suicide and depression shows you're thinking so much about yourself. If you want to get out of depression and stop having suicidal thoughts, get your mind off yourself and get it on someone else. Then in a song, I mean, I can't even say the title, it's blank, don't kill my vibe. He says, I'm a sinner who's probably going to sin again. Lord, forgive me. Lord, forgive me. Now, we're all sinners, myself included. And 1 John 1, 9 says, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. But Kendrick Lamar here is saying, Lord, forgive me. I'm a sinner. I'm probably going to sin again on a song called Blank, Don't Kill My Vibe. So he cusses in the song title and then has the nerve to mention the Lord in the song. I mean, he may be asking for forgiveness in the song, but the fact that he still cusses in the song, says sinful things in the song, and even the song title has something that you shouldn't say in it. Uh, he still releases it. it. It just doesn't make any sense. It shows a very, it shows that that prayer that I'm a sinner who's probably going to sin again. Lord, forgive me. Lord, forgive me. It shows that that prayer is not sincere and he does not have a repentant heart. It seems like it's a game to him. He takes things of God, he takes the things of God very lightly. Now, in this other song, West Coast Wu Tang, he says, I'm so hot, kids put me in their iPod. Even atheists play my blank and say, My God, Jesus, Joseph, and Mary, he's nice. Then he says, Don't compare me to them, just compare me to Mike Jordan. So this guy obviously likes the idea of being compared to God. He mentions atheists taking the Lord's name in vain when they hear his music, but says, just compare me to Michael Jordan. And you know, on ESPN, I've heard them call Jordan Black Jesus. So this guy, he wants to be considered some type of God. And he just took the Lord's name in vain in, in the song. And Exodus 20 and verse 7 says, Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. For the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Kendrick Lamar has no respect for the name of Jesus. In the song, Wanna Be Heard, he said, I spread love like a hippie, but I'm a black one. With Jesus Christ passion, I swear on the Bible. That's what he says. I mean, he's the one that said, I swear on the Bible, not me. He said that. I mean, he just keeps mentioning Jesus Christ, the Bible, Biblical terms, 
But at the same time, he's mixing it in with sinful things and worldly things, which is very, very blasphemous. And this other song, The Last Real Blank Alive, Lord have mercy, Jesus Christ, he's just nice. He just slices like a Jinsu. So there he's taking the Lord's name in vain while bragging on himself. And the song is called Last Real Blank Alive. So out of all the men in the world, he's the last real one, according to him. Very uh, self-glorifying music this is. It says, and this song called Corrupted, it's the immaculate, verbal assassin. Strangle your perfect etiquette to an accent. Now look at this. He says, this is Jesus of Nazareth, spitting gold policies to a world unknown. So he calls himself Jesus of Nazareth, and the song is corrupted. It just, it's very blasphemous music. In his song, Michael Jordan, it says, pull up on these 26s. I'm a vanity slave. I'm a sinner. Jesus Christ, please forgive me for my ways. So notice the attitude when he asks for forgiveness. He says, Lord, forgive me for my ways. Yet he's making and releasing this song called Michael Jordan that glorifies sin all the way through it so much that I can't even tell you the next line. I couldn't even say it and blank it out. It's that dirty. But right before that, he says, forgive me for my ways. It shows a very insincere, unrepentant heart. And it's not Christian. You have people, if you've seen these uh, articles about him on the internet, that he's a Christian rapper. Very, very unchristian. It's more antichrist. In his song for sale, he speaks of Lucy, a woman named Lucy. Obviously, short for Lucifer. Uh, a woman... It, represents the devil offering him a contract and giving him millions and the song starts out with these lines they say if you scared go to church but remember he knows the bible too so they they say if you scared go to church he says the problem is these men aren't scared they like fear proverbs 16 6 says by mercy and truth iniquity is purged and by the fear of the lord men depart from evil you see, they don't fear God, and they think they're getting away with everything. Romans 3.18 says there is no fear of God before their eyes. But this song called For Sale, he's talking to this person named Lucy, who is going to give him things, and says, Lucy, give you no worries. Lucy got million stories. He says, Lucy, going to fill your pockets. So it's... It's obviously about selling your soul to the devil. It says, all your life I watched you and now you, you're all grown up. Then sign this contract if that's possible. Now he may be claiming in the song that he doesn't want any part of the contract or that he wants to do right, but the good majority of his music says the opposite. Everything wicked is in his lyrics. He's already sold out. I mean, every single CD he has, he's, he's cussing, he's saying filthy things. I mean, he's already sold out. It's, it, his music is sex, cussing, blasphemy, as you've seen against the Lord Jesus Christ. This is very far from Christian. You shouldn't look to this person as spiritual guidance or as Christian uh, mentor. Neither should you look at somebody like Kanye West, who they play on the Christian radio stations now. This stuff is very far from Christian. In his song, Lust, he talks about his struggle with with lust, but he also uses extremely perverted lyrics and says mf -er, and everything else in the song. It isn't godly. And he re references the Bible again in that song where he says, Lately in James 4, 4, says, Friend of the world is the enemy of the Lord. Brace yourself, lust is all yours. And that verse does say the friendship of the world is enmity with God. But that is exactly what Lamar is being in his music, friends with the world. And people say, Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar's music helps me through my struggle and depression so much because, you know, he's going through the same things they're going through. But he's rapping about the same stuff that is bringing them down. And it does sound as if there is a struggle between good and evil for him, but his music represents the evil. So this is not Christian music. And if you're not a Christian... You need to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and resurrected. 
Uh, he died on the cross for you. If you were the only one living, he would have died on the cross for you. He shed his blood, and he wants you to be saved. All you have to do is come to Jesus right now as the guilty sinner that you are and put your trust on him and what he did for you on the cross to be your payment for sin, and you're saved eternally. Acts 16.31 says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Romans 10, 13 says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And after you've been saved, ditch the wicked music, throw the Kendrick Lamar CDs away, because he's leading you further down the path of destruction.